Kitty, it's me, Helio the Math Robot. Look at this painting. Isn't it beautiful? I know it needs some color. Can you help me color it? Great. Let's see which color is written on the first flower. Oh, it's not a color. It looks like a problem. A problem with subtraction. Can you see the minus sign? That's how I know that this is a math problem. And I think the numbers on the colors below the drawing are the answers to the math problem. But do you know how to do subtraction? No problem. Let's do it together. When you take away a number from another number, it's called subtraction. Easy, isn't it? Let's make sure we remember this. Now let's find the color of the first flower. To know the color of the first flower, we will have to subtract 4 from 5. Do you know how to subtract a one digit number from another one digit number? Oh, let me give you an example. Look at all your fingers. If you close 5 of your fingers, how many fingers remain? That's right. We are left with 5 fingers. Now we can subtract 4 from 5 to get the color of the first flower. Our answer to the first problem is 1. The number 1 has violet color. So the color of the flower is violet. It is such a pretty color, isn't it? Now let's find out the color of the second flower. To know the color of the second flower, we will have to subtract 2 from 19. Do you know how to subtract a 1 digit number from a 2 digit number? Let me show you. Let's take an example of 14 minus 4. While subtracting a 1 digit number from a 2 digit number, we always write the bigger number on top. Now look at the numbers in the units place. Can we subtract 4 from 4 with our fingers? That's right, we can. Look at the 4 fingers of your hand and now out of them close 4 fingers. How many fingers are left? 0. That's right. Now in the tens place, there is only one number and that is 1. And there is no number below it. We have nothing to subtract 1 from. Now we simply write 1 down as it is. And now we have 10. Easy, isn't it? Now can you subtract 2 from 19 to get the color of the second flower? Yay! We got the color of the second flower as well. It is red. Because it says here that the number 17 stands for red. Do you like the color red? I know I do. Now let's find out the color of the third flower. To know the color of the third flower, we will have to subtract 3 from 7. You know how to do this. Can you find the color of this flower for me? The color of the third flower is blue. It says here that 4 is the color blue. Look how pretty the flowers look. Now we only have the vase remaining. Can you tell me what the color of the vase is? Wow! We have the color of the vase too. It's pink. It says here that the number 15 stands for pink. Now that we have all the colors, I think the painting looks superb. Thank you for helping me. Now I will go hang this painting on the walls of the RV. I'll see you next time.